Now, the newest recruits for Devon and Cornwall Police have been put through their first selection process, and it seems they're getting younger by the day. Yes, they're just 49 days old, and no, they're not humans, but puppies. For the first time, the force is breeding its own canine recruits, and we're going to be following them right through until they're passing out parades. Spotlight's Andrea Ormsby has been to meet the A-team, or should I say litter? Future in frontline policing. They're called the A litter because they're the first in what Devon and Cornwall Police hopes will be a long line of homegrown canine cops. Now, despite excellent police dog parents, there's no guarantee all these puppies will make it through a gruelling training regime. At just 49 days old, this is their first test a character assessment from former police dog instructor Graham Mabbott. Tail up and waving, supremely confident. At 49 days, that is when a puppy is wired up. If you keep the puppy for another 16 weeks, then environment has, has kicked in, how the puppy is handled has kicked in, and so we are looking now for what is inherited because we want these puppies to be able to give to their progeny their character. The puppies have been brought up by retired Sergeant Paul Glennon. So they're brought in one at a time on their own and assessed for confidence. And then we're assessing them for tenacity, determination to play, because those are traits that will link into the work later on if they're to become police dogs. So after all these years, why start this breeding programme now? Well, because we've got no control over the breeders. It's their dog uh, who, who isn't a, a police dog. And obviously the father of this, this litter is six and a half, called Marley, and he's been a successful police dog in Plymouth. So it's early days, but I think this is probably the way to go. And a lot cheaper, buying a police dog puppy can cost around eight or £9,000 each. The A litter passed their first hurdle with flying colours. It's tiring work, though. Time for a little kip. Andrea Ormsby, BBC Spotlight. A litter HQ. Oh, bless their hearts. Devon and Cornwall's finest. There. Oh, aren't they just? We're going to be following the progress of the puppies right through to their passing out parades if they make it that far. I'm sure they will.